Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we will quickly check how we can install and configure JDK 18 on Windows system or how we can upgrade from JDK 8 to JDK 18 on the Windows system. So there are different versions available uh, like uh, the Java 8 is one of the stable version. Uh, so most of the legacy project is currently using Java 8. So that is released in 2000. 24 after that like many versions came and currently in march 22 uh, 2022 the 18 version is released so uh, in my current system there is a java 8 is installed so we can upgrade uh, this to java 18 so we will check for first uh, what is what are the system configuration or what is the prerequisite in order to install java 18 on windows so it is mentioned on the oracle side that uh, uh, we need the CPU architecture as 64-bit uh, CPU architecture we required. Uh, on Windows like uh, 8.1 onwards, we can install JDK 18. Okay. So let's go to command line first and check what is the current Java version. Java minus version. So I can see currently 1.8 uh, is installed. So you can check uh, in UI way. So go to control panel. In the control panel, like uh, you can see large icons, view by large icons, and here you can see go to about. So you can see 1.8281 version is installed. Okay, now how we can upgrade to uh, Java 18? So go to Google and uh, type Java latest version. Okay, so go to Oracle site. Okay, so what's new? So Java 18 is the latest version. So go to download section. Okay, so it is saying Java 17 and 18 available now. So here uh, Java 18 development kit 18.0.2. Okay, so go to Windows. Here you can see win, uh, x64 installer. So it is 153 MB. So download it okay it's downloaded now just click on it to install okay go to download section uh, you will find the exe so double click on exe okay so it is saying welcome to installation wizard of jdk18 so just say next give the default path just copy this path we need this next Okay, so our uh, JDK 18 is successfully installed. So click on close. And now let's uh, we have to set the environmental variable in order to set the Java home. So go to ENV, type ENV in the Windows system. So it is saying edit system environmental variable. So let's open and go to system environmental variables. Then on uh, system variables, choose the path and double click on it and say new and just paste it whatever you have copied and say bin okay say enter okay so click on okay now one more thing we have to set the java home also so my previous java home is like 1.8 so you need to edit it so just change the variable value with jdk18 installation directory okay let's say okay now okay and this also okay now now go to command prompt again okay now type java minus version okay so you can see java version is 18 uh, 2022 19 7 so and uh, <coughs> it's a sub version 18.0.2 which is like uh, released on 19 july so our java version is now 18 so now let's verify this uh, installation by running one program okay so go to one directory so in our case we will go to tools directory and here we will create one file and uh, the file name will be hello java 18 
okay okay now open with uh, any editor so in our case i am opening with java 18 okay so we have to write one simple hello world program so for saving the time so i have already written these lines so just copy it here so what we are doing here so we are creating one public class with name hello java 18 and we are creating one main method okay and just we are typing the hello java 18 world okay so save it so now we have to run it so go here type cmd okay so dir okay now we have to compile this file so java c select this enter okay so our uh, java file is compiled now so go to tools you can see there is a class file which is the like uh, compiler generated one class file now let's run the java file so what should it print so it should print hello java 18 okay so i'm running this program okay so we got hello java 18 world yeah so this way we can uh, upgrade from java 8 to java 18 and we can run this program and verify that java 18 is successfully installed on our windows system yeah so thanks a lot for watching